welcome to a uh, Towns of Middle Earth review, and we're reviewing the Battle of the Five Armies. You can still see it's all spread over the table because we're going to review this straight after playing it, give our initial thoughts on how it plays and things like that. So I hand it over to you. Yeah. Do I give you, let you give your thoughts first? Before um, it's old. It? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Much. You've got the rule book, haven't you? Yeah. The rule book is very old school. Um. I don't know when this was released. 2005. Things, uh, things are not laid out in this rule book in an easy to find reference manner. It almost feels like there's things missing. It does. It really does feel like there's things missing. However, the mechanics of the game, I think, could work a lot. I think they could work well. I do think we need. Um, I love the order giving. I think that is. Yeah. Brilliant fun. I, I just love that, and it gets more difficult as it goes on. And different. I love the order giving. I think we've got really sort of like a when we had this combat here. <clears throat> it, it's it's kind of like well, wait a minute, you don't have all these models in base contacts. It but charged. Feel, yeah. charged. It feels a bit overpowered. So we did. We played it where we didn't have that. Yeah, didn't have it, which which kind of made more. And I'm trying to think. I think there might be certain rules where they can sneak around. The ones could if they come around, they can. Yeah, but we. But this is the problem. There's no easy reference. No. That you can go, alright, does that work? And even when you go into the combat section, it isn't broken down very well in there. It's too... There's lots of diagrams. Lots of diagrams that don't seem to help. That's, no. that's what I was looking at, I think. All right, let's have a look at a diagram. There's got to be a diagram for this scenario. Oh, there isn't a diagram for this scenario. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I mean, there are... I think what we played I found really fun. Whether we played it right or wrong, I found it fun. Um, I thought my bit was fun because I had lots of action. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I didn't get anything. I, I was here and I just lost to you know, archers and... Yeah, when they finally moved, I just moved up and decimated. Uh, but it's, for me it's quite difficult. I find it weird it being in decimal as well, uh, metric, the movement. Because all war games are traditionally in... Imperial, so it's all inches. I don't know if it came out at the time when they were trying to uh, modernise war games. What's going on in 2005? I found that very just it's still a small thing. Very, even though we we're moving the crit, we're still referring to things as inches. I'm like, going to move 20 inches, even though it's 20 centimetres. Um, I like the layout because I think that it could it benefited good. Like the way that it worked, you was all the way over there, so we could take control of you getting across if we wanted. So yeah, it's it tactically, to a degree, yeah. yeah. It was nice. So that was quite good because you had to move to us to mm. actually get. Yeah, it's just there's a lot, a lot of information <laughs> to take in. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very like I mean, it, unsure of how it it plays correctly. Uh, but I think the only kind of experience like any other yeah. war gaming yeah, yeah. play it's yeah it's there's some great mechanics I dare say some great mechanics but I, I always love to almost rewrite this and sort of take bits from our beloved SVG game and incorporate it into this I think it's definitely the turn thing that because I think it gave you an advantage because you got to go first on the last turn yes so you go well, it wasn't, the wasn't necessarily the last turn, it was just I, I made it the last turn. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. there are certain things that, even though pursuers don't get um, the charge bonus, they do get. That's actually not, yeah, that's another little mechanic that kept on blowing my mind, but I think that's more the case of I'm used to SBG rather than this. But then I did see. Because mentally, thing. I've charged, so I should get. You know, but it's not, you only charge no, in you, the first round. <laughs> there, was a, there was a bonus that I saw in the end. But it's only for every three centimeters yeah, that okay. you move. However, can I find that? No, no. that's it. You sort of glance through. There's no. It's a very old rule book. It's only for right. Uh, so you want so you monsters charging in the open. It gets plus two when charging. Yeah. So if you would have managed to do so, Bjorn, <laughs> that would have been cool. But yeah. So um. Let's go through sort of things. Uh, what do you? Let's go through the turns. What do you think of the sort of um, commands, command phase in there? Well, it's initiative. Yeah, it's the command phase. So yeah, initiative. Uh, that's that's good. 
That's good. I, I like quite that. made it fun. And do you like the fact that it's played on all that like, one player does all their turns? Or? No. You don't like no. that? That's not you, like that. Yeah, you still think it should be we do the command phase both together. Yep. Then we do and the shooting phase both together. It speeds the game up. Yeah. And also, yes, I think it, it. that's what it also feels like that. That felt like the other thing that gave you an advantage because you had to do everything first. Mm, or the player, well. So we can move and then. But then you still, to but then you still do, do the same in your turn as well. And don't forget, you, because I've charged into you on that first turn. You then, I, I, I found it the other way around. See, I thought it gave you the advantage. I'm like, I've got to move and charge into you. I'm then weak from doing my turn. Then you can just go, hey, I'm mopping up now. So I found it the other way around. I was sitting there going. It's giving them a massive. So it's, so, so it's, it's kind of like if you've done if you've done it at the same time. So sort of like everyone done the movement, everyone the movement. Then you can charge, and it's one round of combat. Whoever yeah. wins, then gets pewed and pursued. Yeah. And then it speeds the game up. Mm. No, it, it, it may have reduced it to an hour and a half instead of two and a half hours. Yeah. Initially, I was really enjoying it. I still enjoyed it, but by the end, I was like, Christ, this is a slog rather than because it had gone on so long and. Isn't it weird? How, I, I just find that really uh, intriguing how you thought I had the advantage and I was sitting there thinking, they've got the advantage. Think. I was just losing stuff left, right, and so I'm like, it's because I'm going first. I've got no, I'm moving, weakening myself by because I'm in combat. And then they get to move in my already weakened state and just mop me up, and wipe me off. I was like watching unit after unit go. I'm like, God. There's something that I, I wish I could. I Delay and go after to react. I can do an SVG on the last turn, though. With if it was move, move, then shoot, like normal, we might have killed your thing. So that whereas you won because you killed beyond, that would have been in the combat. So, in to a degree, that's how I felt it gave you an advantage. Oh, we're playing all in one. So I'm, I'm on referring to I'm referring turn, to the fact yeah. that I always go first. Yeah. So I'm on the last turn, you had to do it. everything, didn't you? Mm. Whereas if we would have took normal turns, like normal when we play the other game, we would have got shooting in, and we could have potentially killed. Oh, so you're not talking about me going first then, necessarily. Though you're talking about yeah. So everything at phases. once. Yeah. 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 Because mm. it could, it may not have even made any impact. No, so I don't know. It's exactly. Yeah. And then I'd have shooting an infinite. We might have. Actually I do find it. I do find that people. weird. The whole. It, yeah, I think it, that's what put me off Warhammer Fantasy as well. When that used to be like, just that whole, I'm doing everything at once. You sit down at home until it, I'm done. Oh, you're dead. Don't worry, you're getting up. I'm going. Up. It's it's different because like with uh, Warhammer Fantasy, I used to love that game. Is but if you got a flank charge like this. You don't get support and rank bonuses. Can do, uh, so I can still do that. No. <laughs> so. Oh, you wouldn't have got a bonus. No. You, so these get these would come in here. They just used to get a charge, and then because I've got your flank, yeah, you don't have as many people sort of fighting because you're basically fighting to the side. Mm. They you, your support. So you like that you had rank and file. They got negated, mm. so you didn't get attacked from them. So you'd only get attack from this one side of line. So you yeah. only get one round of attack. So, for example, they had three attacks each. Instead of getting nine attacks against the flank, you'd only get three attacks. Yeah. And again, if you had the rear, that's not in this, is it? No. No. But if you had, also if you had a rear charge, you uh, yeah. you'd do more damage. Yeah. They could they couldn't attack. So it's no. kind of, it's kind of like in my, the, in the uh, let's play. I don't know if it's going to be in or not. Cause I might because we're trimming it down a bit. But you mentioned that you were looking it up. You were like, do I get an attack um, a bonus for? It's, it's, it's like no, it's just the same from the side. It's just just you get minus one and. It's, you shouldn't do. You've, you've cross it. You can't fight behind your back, can you? No. no it's a surprise, <laughs> isn't it? I think that um, the actual term thing, though, makes more sense. I think for someone new to it, like what? So what I mean is, like, when you play this one and you have to do all your bit and I have to do all mm. my bit, and I have to do all this. It kind of makes more sense in your head because you only have to worry about that. Yes. Whereas yeah. when you're playing, obviously the games we're playing now, you have to call so then you're like, roll and shoot what's going and roll. Oh, yeah. So it makes sense for like a new person, but I just think where the rules are quite, it, I don't think it'd be good for someone new to the game no. to play because the rules are so difficult. But the actual phases work. So this this is something else we we played on. So all is from heroes and wizards. Yeah. So your heroes. Get six can command anything within sixty centimeters. That is it. I know you said that. I do remember reading. That Wizards way. twenty centimeters. That is it. So it's less, isn't it? So yeah, they're so better at doing things. But it's however, it didn't affect me because my shaman did poop all when I was like, yeah. <laughs> but even so, 
It means when he's there, he wouldn't be able to charge into those elves there. What, my wizard? Yeah. Why is that? Because he would have been more than 20 centimetres away. It'd be a shame because he's at the back, wasn't he? He was back here. Not when you've moved these guys up here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you're saying, because he'd been out the he 20. Yeah, the 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the general yeah, yeah. can command the whole battlefield. Oh, that would have been good for me and Bold, because Bold did. And Gandalf. And Gandalf. Yeah. But then if you use oh. him and you miss, then you But there's a rule we got yeah. wrong. And that, see, that's actually part of my favourite phase as well. That might really make it really interesting as well for that. Well, yeah, because it could have been literally, uh, I know it didn't roll well, well with Gandalf, that can change the dynamics of both sides. Wait a minute. I can now control those eagles for the whole of the board. Yeah, because we were talking about in, in the game, the battle report. If you're watching this without watching the battle report, that's, that's just silly. If you, <laughs> it may not be, because this is a general review about Battle of Five Arms people and Warmaster in general. Yeah, that's good, because we had this thing in the battle report where the eagles have moved, they move 100 centimetres. 100 centimetres. Which is yeah. brilliant. Then suddenly you're like, oh, I can't do anything else now, because they've stormed off down the board. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. If and be hard when he was over there. Yeah. Yeah, because we're talking about this. Well, yeah, 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 that would make. And he so that's something. Charged, so that's a, a positive for the game, really, rather than a negative for us. And you need line of sight to command. I don't think it does that much. Mm -hmm. it, it might not have done uh, too much, but too much. But like quite quite a situations. Board. If you had uh, units in front of units in front, and you can't you can't command that yeah. other unit in front, which so like that. No, because you're part of the unit. You're part of the unit there, yeah. But if there was a unit in front of you, right here. over here, you wouldn't have been able to, like, that. Yeah. You wouldn't have been able to, uh, come on, so how to fight. So, should we sum up? I've just realised I'm going to have to edit this, don't worry. That's something to be. I've left it on the battle report screen, but I'm going to bigger chewed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, and everyone's at home now watching it. <laughs> I, I, Final thoughts on, on the game, would it, because at the moment it's going for stonking prices on eBay. I think when it came out it was like 50 quid, so it's probably nowadays say 90 quid, say standard box set. I think. Would, you, is it, is, would you buy it? Is it something you'd play and... I would want to play it again. Yeah. You wouldn't uh, play it, yeah, same as. But before I buy it, I would want to play it again, looking at the rules. I'd tell you what, um, I might lend you the rule book. So, I think that it's yeah. a load of fun, but I just think the yeah. rules are so stressful when you're trying to like play the game and think a bit tactically. Enjoy it as much. Yeah. No, you can't. I so found I think that. if you play it over and over, it'd be worth it. But so depends. once you feel so, yeah, as a beginner game, no. no. The faces no. are good, the rules yeah. aren't. But I think that if you was buying it to actually play it a few, quite a lot, yeah. It's worth it. If you're only going to play it every so often, it would stress you out because <laughs> you won't remember the rules. But, so you can see potential in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, so, I, it is fun. So, I actually, I think Games Workshop needs to uh, re release it, directly. Re release. I but think maybe that, change the rules a little bit. Or even if it's not this, not Warmaster, which is exactly the same rules, just in the right. Warhammer Fantasy world. There is no Warhammer, it's actually Sigma, Sigma now. It's oh, a skirmish so. game. Warhammer, yeah. So I think it, it may work, but the fact that um, Games Workshop are releasing so many boxed games now, yeah, uh, I can and see all, this on the sorry, horizon. Re-releases of old games, I, I never thought Blood Bowl would come back and say that's on the. Uh, on that's the that's back. yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, yeah. so thumbs up or thumbs down? Should we do it that I way? think I'm gonna put thumbs up because it's got thumbs potential. Yeah. I'm. I'm I'm on the uh, on the fence at the moment. So two point five out of three. <laughs> Let's rate that as that's our scoring we're doing at Tales of Middle Earth. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And I get two and a half thumbs out of three. <laughs> yeah. So wrap this up, shall we? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I want to read these rules a bit more. <laughs> so this is we might you might we, we might see this on the channel again. Yeah. Yeah. Play properly, just put it on screen. But we'll go care if you're a massive idiot. I'm all with that. That's totally wrong, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think it's what, what, with me, why well, don't I playing games where we've got one rule book between us, we're fighting for the rule book, and I'm trusting someone else's word? Yeah, never no, trust my word. Nothing wrong with that. No, I would trust my word. Yes. Uh, no, but it was I, new to you too. This, this is the first the, time you really. You played it and yeah, done anything to us. So seriously. you don't really know for sure. No. 
No, no. Yeah, and yeah. there's other things where, again, going back to harking onto the terrible written rule book, is there's things I'm sure I'm sure I've read that somewhere. Could I find it? No. <laughs> I, I, I literally, yeah. I, I've right. read somewhere for Gandalf has a magic item. <laughs> Can I find it? No. Yeah, yeah. And I've read that. I've the same thing. I'm like, no. So, terrible rule book. Good game. Potential. Yeah. Might see it again in the future. Why not? We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stick with the channel for many great videos to come.